Hey everybody, it is a cold day outside the day, so I'm gonna be making some roasted butternut squash soup, except I'm gonna do mine a little different. We're gonna do ours with Japanese flavors. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing is I have half of a three pound butternut squash, so this is one and a half pounds, and I am gonna peel this, and then we'll get it ready to roast. Then we can go ahead and cut this in half, like so. Scoop out the seeds. Everyone always says you can roast the seeds, but no one ever does. Nobody saves and roasts these things. I'm sure somebody out there does, but no one does. Then I'm just gonna make kind of a V cut there to take out the little root part. And then we have a peeled butternut squash. And at this point, you can just sort of cut it up into, oh, I'm gonna do mine this way and then cut those in half. And then how I'm gonna do mine is in a couple of cast iron pans. So I will put half, of this squash in one pan, half in another. You could totally just do this on a big like sheet sheet pan, um, and it would turn out great. I just want to maximize the surface area um, of squash that's touching the pan, so as to get more caramelization. And we will give each pan a little drizzle of canola oil and a light sprinkling of salt. Okay, next I'm gonna prepare about a tablespoon of ginger. So in order to do that, we are going to grate it. And I'm just going to kind of go down the side of my knife. You could also use your peeler. Okay, got our ginger. We can set this aside. Okay, I took mine out of the oven a little bit early, so it was actually more like 50 minutes instead of an hour. And as you can see, um, a few of my onion pieces got a little more uh, crispy than I would like, but no problem, I just took those out and most of it is just fine. So we have a nice like deeply caramelized squash and onions and that's just gonna add a lot of depth of flavor to our soup. And so it's time for the next step. Okay, for the next step, we are going to transfer our squash and onions into this saucepan. And we are going to add um, 
three cups of water. Two tablespoons of mirin. Um, one tablespoon of ginger, which we grated earlier. And one tablespoon of miso. That's just white miso, by the way. And we're gonna crank our heat up and we're just gonna kind of simmer this all together for just a few minutes. Everything is cooked already. And if you see any pieces like that that are obviously not going to do a lot for your soup, you can take them out. We just want to simmer it um, for about five minutes just to take some of the raw edge off of the ginger and um, burn the alcohol off of our uh, murin. And then we will be ready to blend. Okay, as my soup is simmering away, I just tasted it, and I would like it to be a little more sweet than it is, which the sweetness is coming from the mirin, and we'll also get some sweetness from the onions and squash itself. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add um, kind of a heaping teaspoon of brown sugar, and I think it's gonna be just right after that. Okay, I've transferred the contents of my pot into my blender. So now we're gonna blend it um, until it's very smooth. So sadly, part of my video got cut out, but uh, I'll explain what you missed. So you strain it after you blend it through a fine mesh strainer, and then you stir in a half can of coconut milk, as well as a tablespoon of unseasoned rice vinegar. And you stir all that in and you check the seasoning. Mine was perfect, it did not need any further seasoning. And at that point it's finished. It's ready to go into a bowl. It looks beautiful, it's a nice color. Texture looks great, and we're just going to top it with a few things. We've got some toasted sesame oil, we've got some toasted sesame seeds, and then we have a Japanese spice blend which is called Shijimi Togarashi, and it's kind of spicy, it's kind of fragrant, sort of citrusy. Um, this part is optional, but I really like what it does for the soup. And there you have it. I think it looks really nice. Let's taste it and see how it is. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's good. You should try it. Thanks for watching, let me know, bye.